what's up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome uh, back to another video on the uh, budget paint job 93 GT series uh, so where I'm at right now is I got the fenders blocked out um, they blocked out pretty nice for what they are uh, the body lines look pretty decent on them this will be the last coat of primer that goes down on those I'll show you guys those in a minute but I want to paint the front end at the same time just to make sure we don't have any issues with paint matching or anything like that. Uh, plus it would be nice once all the front end is painted I can put it all on and not worry about it. So I dug the hood out, uh, we started sanding on it, I had a couple problem areas, I'll show you guys those. Overall the hood's not in terrible condition, it is the original hood to the car. Um, so I'll flip this camera around and show you guys what I'm working with. All right. So, sorry about the lighting in here, but um, there was there's some body work here before. Uh, it looked like it had a really big rock chip that hit it, and what happened was the body filler kind of had some cracks in it. So I V'd all those out and then applied a little bit more filler. There was a dent right here, so fix that. There was a pretty bad low spot right here. This side had the same thing, but it wasn't anywhere near as bad as this. So I'm kind of wondering if it may be just be a, um, a factory dip, kind of. I'm wondering if maybe a lot of them have them. I haven't uh, body worked a stock hood in a long time. Uh, <laughs> mostly everything I always put on a car is cowl hoods. So um, fix that low spot there over here. Now this is the original hood of the car, but keep in mind that it wasn't an accident uh, down this whole driver's side, and there was some damage here. Now the body shop before had fixed it, but whoever did the body work on it did a terrible job. <laughs> like there was, I mean, if you guys notice, oh, let's see if the camera will focus. There we go. This line is, it's pretty slim, right? Um, and you can look at it now it's pretty slim all the way down and this contour is about what I think it should be um, there before basically it went like this and then there was a high spot and then a straight down and then like it, it was it was a big mess <laughs> so uh, we straightened that out took all the old body filler off did my own body work, so hopefully it blocks out pretty decent. A um, couple little low spots here and there. I use the silver paint basically as almost like a primer uh, to kind of block all this stuff out. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do with this, same thing with the fenders. We'll go ahead, we'll put etching primer down first on all the bare metal areas. And to be honest, um, this primer that I'm working with, this Zenith 2K high build primer, if you have a lot of burn throughs and stuff like this, it will outline them like crazy. Um, it's really bad about doing that. So what I've been doing, or what I did on the fenders and it really worked out, was I just put a really light coat of etching primer over top of the whole hood. Um, that way it gave the primer something to build off of. And they turned out really good whenever I was done with them. So. But here's the fenders. Um, if you guys remember, this is the one that we deleted the antenna hole. Uh, this is why I put three good heavy coats of primer on here because, and you guys might not be able to tell, but this little ring right here, this is the third coat. This is the second, and then this is the first coat of primer. Okay, All this in here was still low when I went to go body work it. Uh, that's, that's why I want to emphasize on... Don't be afraid to put a lot of primer on these things, guys. Especially if you're working on something that has a lot of body work on it. You can't just do the body work, put glaze on it, do one coat of primer, wet sand it, and paint it. Um, that's, if you want it to look decent for a long time, that's you can't do that. But anyway, my little rant over. Um, here's a body line. Uh, it's pretty straight all the way across. I mean, remember guys, I mean, I had to make this body line from basically here back and up here was really low. Um, so we fixed all of this in here. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. 
driver's side fender. It wasn't as bad, uh, but again, this is why I put three heavy coats of primer on here because there was a high spot on this fender right here. Um, and, you know, leaving that material on there and having enough material to sand off and block all the way is really important. Uh, this was a little dent that we did some body work on. Clearly it was high, so glad that we got that figured out. Um, like I said, sometimes when you guys have all of these layers of paint and different colors and all this stuff, it's really hard to see what you need to see in order to block something out pretty decent. Um, the best way to do this is just take it completely down to bare metal. Then you can find all your dents, fix all your dents. That way, when you're sanding your dents, you're not worried about, oh man, I'm going to make this paint low now because I'm trying to fill in my dent here. Because um, you're not going to go through the metal. Uh, that's why it's really the best idea to just take everything back down to bare metal. Uh, if you have the time and it's in the budget to do so, uh, it's the best way to do it. Uh, being that this car is a driver car, it's a salvage title car, we're just trying to make it look nice. I didn't really want to go through all of that effort. Um, but if you guys are doing like a restoration type deal or you plan to keep the car for a really long time... Um, I definitely recommend going down to bare metal, put a good coat of etching primer on it, and then do your 2K and block that out. But either way, uh, there was a low spot in this body line here. We did some work here. Um, again, we got some burn throughs. This was kind of not great either, this area on this fender, but uh, we got it worked out to where I think it's pretty good now. Um, I know it's going to be hard to tell. In the videos but what we're gonna do now is like I said we're gonna mix up some etching primer I'm gonna go ahead and go over um, definitely all of our bare metal areas again but probably do like a just a really light layer of etching primer on all of the like little burn throughs that I've got especially like up in here because it will make a ring this primer is, is bad about doing that. I, I did notice that. I've never used this primer before. Um, I figured I'd give it a shot. So, anyways, y'all, uh, let's get some primer mixed up, put it in the gun, and get this thing shot. All right, y'all. Went ahead. We got the uh, both fenders primered, the hood primered. Uh, everything went pretty smooth. There's a couple little sags on the fenders, but not a big deal. We're going to sand it anyway. Um, I did, however, run out of primer. Um, well, I still have primer, but I ran out of activator. So I got to send the company an email that I bought the primer from because I went on the website and they don't have any. Uh, if you can't buy it separately, that's definitely going to be a downside to that primer. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to order probably another gallon of primer. I don't think I'm going to go with the same brand. I think I might try something a little bit different. Um, but what I did is I still have uh, some leftover primer, uh, some really good primer, the Omni 2K. Uh, I love that primer. Uh, but it's, I think it's like $220 plus dollars a gallon. Uh, so I didn't really want to use a bunch of that on this car. So, But I at least had to get this hood done. Uh, so I kind of knew that I was running low on primer. So what I did is I just put uh, like a coat and a half unreduced on the fenders. And then whatever I had left, I just reduced it. And put that last little bit on the on the fenders there. So they've got roughly about two coats. Um, the hood has two really really heavy coats of Omni 2K. That stuff fills in awesome. Um, I'm thinking I might just block the hood out and paint it. Um, kind of depends on how my areas that I fix block out first. I'll go ahead and hit those with 220. Actually. Yeah, either 220 or 320 I'll hit those with, but I'll show you guys what it looks like and we'll talk about it. So, here's the hood. Um, this is one reason why I like Omni 2 is that this is uh, unreduced. Uh, it does spray out a little bit thicker. Um, I maybe might should have put one more coat of reduced primer on it if I thought that I was going to just wet sand and paint it. Um... But we'll see how it goes. This stuff it does leave a lot of orange peels, so um, which I'm still within my recoat window, so I might actually put some more in the gun and maybe uh, maybe do that. But this is the area that we fixed. 
There's a couple little pinholes. Um, those really should block out. Uh, if anything, they'll, if I don't reprime it, they'll basically just look like a tiny little rock tip underneath it. But once you get three coats of base and three coats of clear and wet sand and buff it, you probably won't be able to see them uh, realistically. So I'll see how this stuff sands out. Um, usually it sands out really good, but I might end up repriming it. We'll see. Um, like I said, just see how it blocks. But that turned out good. Here's the fenders. The body line looks good. A um, couple little sags in this area here. Um, same with right here. Kind of like the uh, the more flat sides of the panel. Um, that that primer is it's really thick, and you would think that. And there's a, a heavier sag right here. You can see, not a big deal. Um, like this stuff is already like dry to the touch. I mean, I'm not getting anything on my hands at all. But there's a little sag right here. Overall, not too bad though. Um, so the body lines look pretty good on them. Oh, I'm pretty happy with them overall. I think they'll look pretty good with some paint on them. Uh, this Zenith primer, it's really thick primer. Um, you can reduce it. If you're going to reduce it, I would probably only reduce it half. On the cup, there's like a 10% a and then a half. I would really probably only reduce it half just so it lays out a little bit smoother. Um, like I said, it, it's really thick, so you would think that that would equate to filling in a lot of stuff. But it doesn't do a great job of really filling like the Omni 2K. Um, and it's so thick that if you put it on heavy at all, it just likes to run. Um, that's one reason why I probably won't be buying any more of that. Uh, I'll probably end up going with something a little bit different. I'll have to jump on there and see what else is available. But uh, overall, it was a decent primer for what I used it for. Uh, for $85 for a gallon of primer and hardener, uh, it's not bad. I would just get some reducer with it for sure. Uh, yeah, that's really about it, guys. Um, I appreciate everybody that watches and um, everybody that's been following along with the series. Hopefully, I can get some paint on these this week. Uh, the plan is I'm going to try to block this out tomorrow, see what it looks like. Um, at least the areas that I fixed. If they block out nice, I'll probably end up 400 blocking it and then 600 wet sand. Uh, and then I'll probably flip it over and paint the backside because I did paint it silver underneath the hood. So I'm going to have to paint the backside of the hood. Um, let that cure up for probably a day or two. And then I'll flip it back over and we can paint the top side of it and the fenders at the same time. So... Anyways, y'all, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you think about the progress so far on the build. And I hope you guys have a good day. I think where we left off last was I primered the fenders and the hood. Um, so I went ahead. I got those blocked out. I got them wet sanded. They look pretty good. Uh, so we got them set up here. We got them all cleaned off already. I'm going to mix up some paint. We're going to get these things shot in, but before that, I'll go ahead, I'll show you guys what they look like, and we'll go from there. Alright. So, here's a driver's side fender. Uh, like I said, it turned out pretty good. Um, we had to do some body work in this body line area, if you remember. It was a pretty gnarly dent right here. So we went ahead and did that. Got that all body worked. Now these fenders, I primed them twice. I primed them once, then blocked them, and then reprimed them, and then I wet sanded them with, or I blocked them with 320, and then I wet sanded them with 600 after that. Now this is the the fender that had a lot of work. We did had to do a lot of work to this one. Um, <clears throat> this whole area was really bad up in the top here. Uh, so we basically had to straighten our lines out with that. 
we went ahead, we deleted the antenna because there was like a pretty bad low spot right here. Went ahead and did that. Um, yeah, this is actually the original fender off the car. Uh, it still has a VIN sticker on it. We're gonna try to preserve that. This one has a Ford VIN sticker on it, so we're also gonna try to preserve that. Um, those should look pretty good, uh, you know, as long as the paint lays down pretty flat. Uh, <clears throat> if not, we know how to buff, right? <laughs> so, uh, this is the hood. Now, this only has, I only primered this one once. Um, I put quite a bit of primer on it. Like I said, this was done with my Omni 2K primer. I like this primer a lot more. It seems to build up a lot better. So... I did two really heavy coats of primer on the whole thing, and then uh, our bodywork area, because remember this uh, edge of the hood looks really good now. Uh, over here, was it was smashed in pretty good in this area, so you know we beat it out from the back, bodyworked it, and blocked it all out, and it looks pretty good. We already painted the bottom side. The bottom side's already painted. Uh, I didn't film that. Other than that, this one got blocked with 320, and then I went back over and wet sanded it with 600, pretty much the same as the fenders. Um, hood looks pretty good, I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, not much to say about it other than that. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna mix up some paint now, and try to get some, some paint on these, these fenders and this hood. So, stay with me all. Um, We'll get at this and I'll pick up the camera once I'm done. What's up y'all? Went ahead, got the base coat laid down. Uh, I put three coats down, so just like the rest of the car, the doors and the, the back half. So uh, hopefully the paint matches up pretty well. I don't see why it shouldn't, but never know. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so again, this is just base coat. I haven't put clear coat on it yet but it's got a nice sheen coverage looks pretty good so like I said I did put three coats on it um, seems to look pretty good fenders turned out pretty good uh, <clears throat> sorry about the lighting guys it is a little hard with the uh, sun kind of glaring on the plastic here but Try to make sure that we get coverage along the back, or at least along the edges and kind of up around the wheel arch. Uh, I didn't want to go too crazy about trying to paint the back sides of the fenders and stuff like that because I just don't want to waste a bunch of paint. Um, I did end up buying another quart, but this piece of hair or something on it. Um, <clears throat> I just don't want to get uh, into a situation where I need to buy more paint, so I didn't want to waste a bunch on the back side of the fenders, but uh, only thing I have to do now before I can clear coat it is I need to pull the tape off of the VIN stickers, and then I will clear coat uh, over top of the VIN stickers. Um, some people like to clear coat it and then pull the sticker, or then pull the tape off the VIN stickers off. Uh, me personally, I just clear coat over them. Uh, makes it easier to clean. You don't have to worry about peeling up clear coat whenever you <clears throat> take the tape off either. So, but all right, guys, let me uh, get that done. I'll mix up some clear coat. We'll put some clear on these fenders, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, you guys, we got them clear coated. Uh, turned out pretty good. A um, little bit more orange peel than I'd like, but no runs, so. Uh, we can definitely wet sand all that out. Not really a big deal. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn the camera around, show you guys what it looks like. Again, I apologize about the uh, the lighting. You know, it's not the best right now. There's a little piece of trash right here, kind of up next to the body line. A little piece of trash right there. Um, Overall, not too shabby though. Like I said, 
no runs, a little bit of orange peel, but I can live with that. You can always wet sand that out. There's the uh, bin sticker, turned out pretty nice. Um, hood turned out pretty good. Uh, like I said, there's a couple little pieces of trash here and there, but nothing too bad. A little bit of orange peel. Overall though, the repair looks like it turned out pretty good. I don't really see anything when I look at it. So, <clears throat> line looks pretty, pretty decent. So... We did go ahead and uh, drop the tape pretty much immediately on the edge. That way, um, the clear that's back on there, on the on the back side, doesn't uh, lift up at all. So the longer you wait, the more you risk that happening. So we pretty much pull ours. Oh, mm, what about probably 10-15 minutes after we shoot it. So, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing that we can't polish out. So I'm pretty happy overall considering where these fenders started out at. Um, I mean, they really were in pretty rough condition. So the fact that we got them to look this good, I'm pretty happy about it. So uh, they're pretty straight, though. So. All right, guys, uh, that be pretty much it for this video. Um gonna let these probably set up for at least a day before I try to start handling them uh, luckily it was a pretty nice day today so we had some actual good temperatures uh, so everything's setting up really good already it's probably only been about uh, I don't know about an hour since I sprayed it and it's already setting up pretty good um, so happy about that uh, yeah from here I'm gonna try to get the hatch done uh, hatch is the next thing on the list um, I want to get the hatch uh, painted that way I can put it on the car and then kind of basically like seal up the car and then the body of the car will essentially be done. Uh, I just need to, um, after that, I need to start working on all the bumpers and the side skirts and everything like that. So, um, still waiting on my primer to come in though. Uh, the second gallon <laughs> that I'm on. Um, so once that gallon of primer gets here, I can also use it as a sealer. My thought process is maybe I'll just go ahead and 320 everything um, and then scuff it down and uh, seal it up. And then depending if that looks pretty nice, we'll go ahead and shoot them right away. That way I don't have to prime and then wait and sand and uh, yada, yada, yada. But um, I guess only time will tell. Uh, so I appreciate you guys watching, uh, appreciate everyone that's following along with the build. Uh, you know, I, I think everything's turning out pretty good. Uh, as far as budget wise goes, this next gallon of primer that I bought, I tried to buy, uh, some u prim primer, uh, cause I've read some pretty good reviews on it, but they won't ship to California. So I had to go back to the same place that I bought the other primer from. And they had some high build uh, 2K primer that can also be used as a sealer if you reduce it 20%. So I went ahead and went with that. Uh, it was like $78 uh, with the hardener. So again, it'll be another $80 uh, 2K high build. But that is the point of this build, you know. Uh, buy uh, less expensive products and see how they work. And uh, we're trying to do it on a budget. And I think... The results that we've gotten so far, uh, with the amount of money invested, I think we're doing pretty good. So, <clears throat> like I said, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, hope you all have a, a good rest of your day, and, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.